Here's my virtual environment. As you can see, I've got uh, a server that will be the connection server, a DC, and my virtual center server, which I'm currently connected to. And before I start, I need to do a little bit of work in Active Directory. So if I connect to my domain controller, I'm going to launch Active Directory Users and Computers, or DSA.msc. And inside my domain, I'm going to create an organizational unit in which to put my view desktops. I'll call that view computers. And I'm also going to create a further OU just for link clones that I'm going to create in the future. And I want to put that within there just for neatness. OK, while well, I'm still in here, I'm also going to create a couple of user groups that we're going to use for view. So there are security groups, and I'm going to call the first one view users. And I'm going to call the second one view administrators. I want to use view users to allow my users access to my view desktops and view administrators for adding in on my virtual center. So I'm just going to add my account in to view users. And I'm also going to add my account into view administrators. And I'm going to add in the Domain Administrator account as well. Now, Technically speaking, I don't need to because the Domain Admin is already a local admin on the Virtual Center server, which is the rights that we're going to need to assign to this group. So now I've got those groups set up in Active Directory, I'm pretty much finished on my Domain Controller. So I'm going to close that down. And now I'm going to connect to my virtual center server. And I'm going to add in the view administrators group that I've just created in the domain to the local administrators group on the virtual center server. So right click computer, manage. I expand the configuration local users and groups groups and you can see the administrators group is at the top I'm going to open that up and I'm simply going to add in my view administrators group from the domain. Apply. OK. Now we're finished on the virtual center server. I'm going to close that down and I'm going to head across to the server that will be my connection server. So close that down and now open up the Windows server I'm going to use as a connection server. This has basically got to be 2008 R2 or 2003 R2 32 bit. Now I'm going to launch the setup executable for the connection server. I'm 
Okay, I've sped this up considerably for the sake of the video. At the welcome screen, simply click next. Next. Accept the end user license agreement. Next. Okay, we are going to choose a view standard server because it's the first one that's been put in. If we were putting a second one in, we could choose view replica server, or if we were putting one in a DMZ or an edge network, a security server, or if we were using local mode, we could put in, be putting in a view transfer server. But we just want a view standard server. I've already got uh, the local firewall on here disabled because I'm behind a corporate firewall, but um, if you wanted to, you could have it automatically configure your firewall for you. Accept the defaults. Again, this takes a while and it's been sped up. And when it's done, click finish. Now we're going to launch the View Administration Console. You need Adobe Flash, otherwise it won't work. Or you can simply open a browser and go to HTTPS, the server name, forward slash admin, in lowercase. Now I'm going to log into the VMware View Administrator console. And this is the first time I've connected. So when I've logged in, it should go straight to the licensing section. Go. To add in your license, click Edit License and simply paste in the license that you've purchased from VMware. Click OK and you can see there Composer and Local Mode is enabled. That's our license on. The next thing we need to do is connect the connection server to the virtual center server. So if you select Servers, and under the vCenter service section click add supply it with the name of your virtual center server a username that is a member of the view administrators group and a password now I don't have view composer because I haven't installed it yet but I will return to this later one I'm doing link clones. Click OK. And after a few seconds, you can see it appears there in the list. And that's our connection server up and configured. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and check out any other parts at www.pedinetlife.com. Thanks very much.